Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and make a new intro to today's vlog. Um, this vlog was filmed last week before the big Texas freeze and storm that we've experienced. Um, I just wanted to come on here and say that I am thinking of and praying for all the Texans out there. I myself am a Texan. Definitely did not want to upload today's video. Uh, without saying something about Texas because it's my home state, the only place that I've ever lived. I am a proud Texan and I will live here for the rest of my life. So I needed to come on here and say something. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and my kids are running around. School's been out obviously um, and we're just, things have been a little crazy. So I definitely meant to post this vlog sooner, but you know, just been a lot of other important things going on. So um, I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog and I'm praying for you, Texas. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am vlogging today. I took Kaysen to school this morning. He was super excited to go today. He decorated his Valentine's box for their Valentine's party last night and they brought all of their goodies to school today. So he was super pumped about that. I just got his box from, I think it was HEB I found his box at. And then I ordered a bunch of Jurassic Park stickers off of Amazon and that's what he used to decorate his box. Um, and he also is giving out Jurassic Park Valentine's cards to his friends with little packs of Sour Patch Kids as the treats. Lainey and I are just now sitting down to eat lunch and I wanted to share what I'm having. I'm actually having leftovers from last night. We have been continuing to do Whole30 meals for dinner time. Now I'm not Whole30 completely with every single meal that I have. I am trying to choose options that are Whole30, but I'm not officially Whole30. But I have still been um, looking up stuff in my Defined Dish Book. I absolutely love this. If you are wanting to eat healthier and Whole30 is something that you're interested in, this is the best book for recipes that you could possibly get. I absolutely love it. 97% um, of the Recipes that we have made have been amazing. So I wanna share the one that we had last night. It's chicken thighs, but it's a Nashville unfried chicken. Now I didn't make the side that goes with it. It was supposed to be made with collard greens, but I did squash and zucchini with it. And then something that wasn't Whole30 that we added were the Alexia tater tots. I love Alexia brand for an easy potato side. They do sweet potato fries and tots. They do hash browns. They do regular tater tots. I, I just really like them. I feel like they're definitely not Whole30 or the healthiest option, but they are healthier than other options out there. And they're super easy to make. You just throw them in the oven. So if you're short on time or like us, we have dance or baseball or something in the evenings. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the recipe in the book. This is the recipe here. It was absolutely delicious. The sauce for the Nashville hot was absolutely delicious. You could easily use this on chicken breast if you're not a chicken thigh fan. We love us some chicken thighs. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hover over here real quick. So if you wanna screenshot this to try to make this, there's page one. And then I'll go over to page two where they finish up the um, recipe. But all you need is a cast iron skillet and an oven. And they, oh, it just turned out so good. So this is my leftovers here. Chicken, absolutely amazing. We will definitely be making this again. Sure do look beautiful. And so far. You see yourself in the camera? What made you want to wear this dress today? I want to wear a dress to Mimi's house. You want to wear a dress to Mimi's house? Which one? Whichever one you want to wear. My cowgirl one. Your cowgirl one? What the, what the horsey's on it. With the horsey's on it? I think I would probably have that dress. Oh my gosh, maybe y'all can match. <laughs> I think we can be cowgirls. Like, yay, yay! You're so silly. Okay, <laughs> say toodaloo, guys. <laughs> Give us a little hip shake real quick. <laughs> Wow, you are amazing at that. <laughs> so I had a few requests to do a tutorial on the matte smoky eye that I was wearing at the end of my last vlog. So I figured I would do that today. It is super quick, so this won't take long, but it's using the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. Now, I know that this palette has very mixed reviews, but I absolutely love it. I use it every single day. I use it with every single palette. It has all the essential colors that you would want if you like a brown, 
neutral eye. Like these are all the colors that I like to wear. I've used every single color in this palette with the exception of the black. I really don't wear black eyeshadow. I find that it's a little too harsh for me, um, but I love every single shade in this palette. It is a phenomenal palette, great formula, super easy to create looks, which is what I'm going to do for you guys today. So I am going to start what I started with the other day. I started with this shade here and I'm going to apply this as my transition shade and my lid shade. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my brow bone shade. I'm gonna take this white shade here. And what I've been doing to get like that matte butt with a hint of glow brow bone shade is when I'm applying my highlighter, I used the um, Ilia highlighter today. I just dust a little bit on my brow bone and then I put my matte shade on top and it gives just a little something extra and a little bit more pop to the brow bone. The next shade I'm gonna grab is this one here. It's just a step up and that's what I like to do. I just do little step ups, which really helps just to like make everything flow together. I mean, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional. I don't always have perfectly blended eyes, but this palette really does make it easy to blend and have a nice gradient eye because every shade is like a stepping stone. I'm gonna switch brushes and the next shade that I'm gonna take is this warmer brown shade here. And I'm going to place this on the outer corner and start working this into the crease. Now I'm gonna go back into that first shade that we used and I'm going to apply this on the first half of my lid just to um, add a little bit more color there and kind of smooth everything out. The next shade that I'm gonna go in with is this one right next to that warmer medium brown. It is a medium brown, but it's a little bit cooler. I like mixing really neutral, warm and cool toned browns. I think with nude shades, you can really just do whatever you want. So I really just play around honestly and just mix everything together. We're almost done. Lastly, I'm gonna take a little bit of this deep dark brown. It's definitely more of like a cool brown. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here on this outer corner. And then gently blend it in to the crease. And this shade is super pigmented, so you really just need a teeny tiny bit and make sure you tap off the excess. I'm gonna go back to that first brush that I used. I don't have any extra product on. I'm just gonna go through and blend everything out a little bit. Give it one final little dusting. And then for my lower lash line, I always just mix all the browns together that I used. So um, for my lower lash line, I don't like my lower lash line to be super dark. So I'm going to stay away from that shade there, but I'm going to just mix these together and apply this to the lower lash line. Last step, I'm gonna take this white shade and highlight my inner corner. That's it for the shadow. I'm gonna add some brown liquid liner. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick. And I'm not gonna talk through this because I'm not a pro yet. <laughs> I'm getting better at applying liquid liner, but it's still really nerve wracking. So I'm not gonna talk while I do it. And last step is mascara. I am still using this Ilia mascara. It is phenomenal. Okay. 
And this is the final result for the smoky eye that I had in my last video. I love this eye. It's fairly quick. I mean, I've been talking for forever, so it took me 10 minutes, but if I'm not talking, I can get it done in half the time. So, um, and as you can see, there's little to no fallout with this, like none. I love this palette. It does not get, I feel like it doesn't get that great of reviews. Like it's very, very mixed. I personally love it. It performs beautifully. I love the shades on me. They are all something that I can use every single day, no matter what I look I'm doing, no matter what eyeshadow palette I'm using, I can incorporate shades from this palette, but it really has been my go-to everyday palette. It is small and compact. So, you know, not a lot of us are traveling at the moment, but if you were to travel, um, it's a very travel friendly palette. Um, I just love it. So that is it for the eyes. I do want to share two products that I got in the mail yesterday. They're both repurchases and holy grail must have for me. And then I also have a few everyday favorites that I've hit pan on that I wanted to share with you as well. I'll go ahead and share my repurchases first. These two products are holy grail must haves for me. I use them on an everyday basis and I purchased them using a $100 gift card from Sephora. I was able to snag the $100 gift card perk from their reward center um, and I needed these two products so I was like, I'm gonna use my $100 off. So I needed to repurchase the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I use this moisturizer every single day. I absolutely love it. It's my nighttime moisturizer. I will wear it during the daytime if I'm having a no makeup day and I need a little extra um, hydration on the skin. So this is the jumbo size. This is two and a half ounces. The packaging on this is absolutely beautiful. I went ahead and got the jumbo because I use this every single day, like I said. So I might as well get the jumbo to get an, a better value because I know I'm gonna use the whole thing. I used to wear it during the day when my skin was a little drier. Now my skin is more normal combination. So I wear this at night, but I have worn it during the day and makeup does go on beautifully on top. Um, the second is the Tatcha Rice Wash. I just finished up my first bottle and I knew immediately that I had to go out and repurchase a new one. This face wash is stunning. I absolutely love it. How can a face wash be stunning, you ask? Well, it just makes your skin look and feel amazing. My skin is so soft, so hydrated, so plumped after I use this. I use this as like my morning cleanser or my morning after workout cleanser. It's not a cleanser that's going to take off your makeup, but it cleanses, hydrates, and softens your skin so well. I get along really well with Tatcha's skincare. Um, I use the rice wash, the dewy skin cream. I use the vitamin C every day. Their vitamin C mask is amazing. I use their new um, hyaluronic acid serum, which is also amazing. I really need to do a skincare routine. If you wanna see a full morning and nighttime skincare routine from me, like actually applying the products, please let me know and I can um, get that film for you guys because I honestly really love my skincare routine. I feel like I've really perfected mine for my skin. Um, but both of those products are holy grail products for me that I absolutely love and cannot be without. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about four products that I've hit pan on that I use on a daily basis. The first really is no surprise. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. I've gone through so many of these. This is in the shade medium. I also have the shade fair. It's in my purse and that's like my on the go. I've also hit pan on that one. So, you know, I've just, it's my favorite all over face setting powder. I do use a loose powder for underneath my eyes, um, but I use this to set everything else and it is beautiful, blurring, perfecting, all the things. Um, I also have hit major pan on this hourglass blush. It's in the shade Brilliant Nude. I do already have a backup of this, a full size, but this is a beautiful blush. It's the blush that I'm wearing today. It is a gorgeous, glowy, very neutral nude blush with like a hint of pink, um, which really I think just sets this blush off from not being just so blah. It's got that pink undertone to it, which really just brings life to the face, I think. And this is one of the strobe lighting blushes, so it is a glowy blush. I think it's just absolutely stunning. Um, here it is, you can see the major pan there. And 
this layer is super, super thin. So I'm definitely just gonna blow through this blush, but I have a decent sized blush collection. For me to finish a blush is really speaking volumes. Um, the next thing that I've hit pan on is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour. This is in Lucid and Sombre. I have not hit pan on this, but I've hit major pan on the contour color. This is like my perfect contour shade. I use it every single day. Um, I do like this powder, but I don't use it as regularly as this. And I obviously, when I use this shade, don't use as much as I use on the contour but this is beautiful. This comes in three different shades. Mine's in the lightest um, shade for the duos. And then this one might surprise some of you guys because it's not a very old product, but I've already hit pan on it. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is in the shade, I think it's medium. Yeah, two medium. But I've already hit pan on this bad boy. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Um, it's the bronzer that I'm wearing today. Beautiful bronzer, perfect shade for me. This has, is it, four, is it five shades of bronzer or four? I don't know, I can't keep up. This is a gorgeous bronzer, I use it all the time. This one and my Gucci bronzer are my most used right now, um, but this is a beautiful matte bronzer. It's a beautiful neutral color with a hint of warmth. Um, I just really, really love it. So. I wanted to share those goodies with you guys. I always love hearing people's most repurchased products, products they've hit pan on. I do have more products that I've hit pan on in my collection, but these are definitely my most used. Um, I do need to do another makeup declutter again um, because I still have things in my collection from my last declutter that I still haven't touched, which probably need to go. Um, I post most things on Poshmark, but there's some things that, that I declutter that I don't post on Poshmark if it's just been a long time or if I've hit pan on things and obviously if I've hit pan I don't put it on there but um, I also need to do a big closet declutter and just a bathroom declutter I I love doing declutters I declutter all the time multiple times a year I just I hate holding on to things that I don't use and when I get rid of all the extra things that just linger around that I haven't been using I just feel so much more efficient and just enjoy my products so much more when I only have things that I absolutely love. Um, I do want to share the process of my decluttering, but to be quite honest, filming declutter and organization videos are not my favorite. Um, it takes so long. Editing takes so long because there's so much that you have to speed up or cut out. So what I'll probably do is just incorporate that into some sort of vlog. Vlogs right now are just the easiest videos for me to film because they're just a lot more casual, which just fits my life and my personality so much more. So I hope you enjoy like kind of like a vlog mixed with a sit down. I feel like that's what this vlog is. It's like vlog footage mixed in with a little bit of sit down because we're just chatting right now. Maybe I'll incorporate an organization and declutter by like showing before and afters and then just showing like glimpses of what I've decluttered. But like all the moving around and like the physical part of filming the declutters, I just don't really enjoy that. Same thing with cleaning. I don't like to film full days of cleaning. I like to do like little bits and pieces here and there. Me and Lainey are gonna go chill for a little bit and I'll pick the camera back up when I have something interesting to share because quite honestly, my life is very routine oriented and kind of boring. <laughs> we just do the same things every day. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys soon. Okay, so I am prepping dinner. Lainey has danced tonight, so dogs. So I have to prep dinner early, and I'm trying something different. I found a Whole30 recipe on Pinterest. It's a chicken and bacon Alfredo. So the only thing that I am doing differently is it's supposed to have hash browns in it, but I'm not doing the hash browns, and I put broccoli and peas in it instead. I think it does normally call for broccoli. 
And then I'm doing a homemade Whole30 Alfredo sauce and it's made with cashews. So I'm really excited about this. I did make another Whole30 recipe uh, a couple weeks ago that called for like a cashew, cashews to make a sauce too. And I was kind of nervous about it at first. Sorry if you hear that noise. My bacon is sizzling. Um, and it was really easy and it tasted really good. So I'm prepping it now so that I can pop it in the oven and eat it before we leave for dance. Um, and then for my chicken, it said to cook chicken breast and shred it. I kind of cheated and got a rotisserie chicken instead, um, which I think makes it not Whole30 exactly, but it'll still be good. I think this will be, I think this is a keto friendly meal too. Um, so yeah, I will pop a picture of what it looks like here and I will link the recipe down below and I'll pop back in or write something here to let you know if it was yay or nay tasty. I have a feeling it's gonna be a yay, but we'll see. Okay y'all, verdict is in and it is really, really yummy. A++, the sauce, the cashew Alfredo sauce was easy to make if you have any sort of blender or food processor and the flavor is really, really good. The recipe calls for a little bit of rosemary, which really sets it off. Our dishwasher is full, so um, to do less hand washing, we're eating in paper bowls. I did add red pepper flakes to mine. I pretty much add red pepper flakes to everything, but it is really tasty and it's healthy for you. Um, this is, if you do it like I did and do no hash browns, it is keto friendly, so. Very, very yummy. So I'm gonna eat really quick and then we're off to dance and I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye.